40-year-old man, Prince Mohammed Momo, has been arrested and detained by the Department of State Security for dropping the name of President Mohamedou Buhari's chief of staff in a bid to defraud an unsuspecting Nigerian to the sum of $50,000. The suspect, a father of two from Olamaburu in Kogi State, was arrested in a sting operation by the DSS as he went to collect the bounty from his potential victim, Bensi Anegu, a native of Bayesa State. The public relations officer of the DSS, Dr. Peter Afunaya, who paraded the suspect at the DSS headquarters in Abuja on Tuesday, described Momo as the head of a syndicate specializing in dropping the names of senior government officials to fleas on suspecting Nigerians for fathom positions in and outside the government. The DSS spokesman said in the sting operation in which he was finally arrested, Momo, who was worked, who once worked as an aide to a presidency official, presented himself as an aide to the COS and demanded a sum of $50,000 from Benson Anego with a promise to get him to be appointed as Buhari's special assistant on oil and gas. Afunaya said that Momo, Momo, who had been running the syndicate with three others, Mike Omo, Monde and Ifai, now at large, told their potential victim that out of the amount $35,000 would go to the chief of staff, while the balance would be used by other facilitators to get him to be to the to get him the top political post. The DSS spokesman explained that Locke ran out of the syndicate when Mr. Benson and Ego suspected them and contacted the service to investigate the genuineness of the group and he was asked to play along with them until the points of payment of the cash. He said we arrested Prince Momo in a sting operation conducted on July 28, 2020 and we want to alert the public that the syndicate has no connection whatsoever with the chief of staff to the president or any other officials of the government at any level. The head of the syndicate, Momo, only exploited his former position as an aide to a top presidency official and started to defraud unsuspecting Nigerians. He has no relationship with the presidential official as we speak. That is why we are pleading with Nigerians to desist from falling victims to fraudsters who continue to drop the names of top government officials for pecuniary gains. We will continue to fish them out and expose them for what they are, fraudsters and nothing more, the DSS spokesman said. The suspect, Prince Momo, who served as an aide to a presidency official between 2013 and 2015, confessed that he only collected a curriculum vital from someone he wanted to help to secure a job but did not know he would end up in what he called unfortunate situation. Afunaya said the suspect would be charged while the agency's dragnet would be extended in order to fish out the other suspects on the run. Mm -hmm. Well, so guys, I don't know what you think about this but all I know is that uh, the, the as to rock all of those things happening there, you know, things are so porous in that place. You know, you could imagine the last time when Femi Adeshino himself and uh, this uh, this this guy, uh, Ngalala, or what is what is his name, the media team. You know, when I think that was when they started, they stopped this uh, presidency or the president trying to give a live broadcast, and you know, because a lot of leakages. And it's happened like it's been happening for some time, and it happened consecutively at that period. All the things that they were planning to you know, make it seem as if it's a live broadcast because of those, those porous and what have, have you, they were able to people were able to get their tricks that the president does not come out to give a live broadcast because the whole thing got leaked. And people were like, Why should there be leakage or the uh, that as well, to be porous to that extent that means the people do not even do their job so when people begin to see all those kind of uh, loopholes everybody wants to try let me try my own luck if it will happen and don't be surprised a lot of things have been going on in that so rock that you know see, that they might not even want us to know see what you know would have just uh, 
they would have just gone through because that is how that has been the practice. That has been the practice because if that has not been going on before now, because it shows that the corruption we are talking about is also embedded there because he has seen a lot of people who have been doing it. And don't don't be surprised that that was not his first time. He must have been doing it and he must, must have been duping people because they know that that is how things are being done. You can imagine you want to get a top official job at that level and you expect to get money and all of that. It's happening. People want to get job. They say you have to pay seventy thousand. I, I could remember in those days, it was as far back as ten years, fifteen years. You want to get job, even what maybe it's still happening. I don't even know. You have to pay. You want to, how much is your salary? You, you have to pay seventy thousand, hundred thousand to for you to get that job because they believe that is a one off thing. After you have gotten the job, you know you you are the one that will be enjoying the whole thing. But that's a first payment is you know, is for them. So if it's been happening in you know at just normal level you can imagine they have not taken it further to also rock no fear nobody believes anything because they believe that uh, anything goes in that in that setting and now they are trying to tell us oh yes we did this we did that that is my own perspective of this whole thing you might see it from a different perspective that is just my own perspective that's why i'm really i'm really bringing out uh, you know that my own point of view from that Nonsense, the main criminals are inside Asu Rock and National Assembly. Why the present situation and hunger in the country? With okay, with the present situation and hunger in the country, people have resorted to all manner of fraud to keep body and soul together. <laughs> keep body and soul together. Although crime is never the best way out of poverty and hardship. But if we look that if we look that the way the, this public office holder are stealing and embezzling money and going unchecked. One will wonder who is worse between the criminal and the public office holders. Okay, very good of the service. Okay, um, you know, a lot of atrocities have been going on. The real robbers, we know them just like she already said. Forget Osh Puppy, Osh Puppy is the baby. That's when you talk of daddy and grandfathers of a, a whatever, they are there. We know them. We don't, you don't even need to look for anybody. We are talking about it. This one is trying to scam people. And those who have been scamming the whole country, they are there. And we are staring at them. And we will still be clapping for them. Oh, well done, thou faithful servant. And you know what they do. You know the atrocities they are committing. But they will not learn. See, most of their colleagues now, they are doing bell, 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 bell. now. They will not learn. Because they will believe that hey, that's, it's, that's, it's, that is that one's a destiny. So... It's unfortunate that uh, we are going to be hearing this kind of a thing, you know, as to rock this and that. Because that is that has been the order of the day. The guy cannot just start all of a sudden if he has not seen a lot of people doing that. So, guys, let's hear your opinion. Like I said, we see things differently. Let's hear your own point of view from this whole thing. Thank you.